Hi, this is Brian Wilson with BFW Classroom, and today we're going to talk about creating AI agents in Google Gemini. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave today. So today we're going to look at Google Gemini and how I use it in Workspace at school. Here you can see some of the presets, but what we're going to do is look and see how to make gems, which is actually an AI agent. What I've done is I opened the Create New Gem button, and then I begin to tell it what kind of agent I want to create. Make sure you give it a specific name so you know how to use it later on. And then inside the description, you write down what you would like for the agent to do as it completes the task for you. Here you can see I'm creating a specific agent that will actually take prompts and turn them into CSV files that I can then use to make specific maps inside of Google Maps. The reason why I was using this one is because in my social studies classroom, I want to create maps quickly that I could ask students about trends or what they notice on the map itself. You also have a knowledge button where you can give it specific file types if you're doing more specific tasks beyond just a CSV file. Now once you've completed the gem or the agent, you can click on it at the top and then begin to ask it to generate some kind of file or to complete the task. So what you can do is by saying here, generate a CSV file, you could actually shorten your prompt and make it so that you just say create a file for some kind of grouping, in this case for maps. Here it begins to run. It will tell you certain parts about the file response and then it will give you a chance to respond back to it as well. You can also ask it to do a couple of different tasks inside the same action. Now what you'll also notice is on the side you'll see your gems at the top or your agents and then below that you'll see recent responses. You can pin responses if you want to continue to go back and use them too. I do like the responses. When you ask it something specific like I asked here, it will give you information at the top. So when you give an assignment like this to a student, it will give the data set, but it will also give notes about the data set being specific to very specific places. Um, when I was doing a response the other day, with teachers and show this someone asked about tornadoes and so what you can see is that it will actually respond here in a very specific way and talk about data complexity and then ways that the data can be viewed one way or the other and how it comes up with the data set that you see so when students ask it to create data sets that can be used in maps or in spreadsheets it will give uh, explanations to those prompts one of the funnier ways I like to use this in class is by asking it to generate poems or songs based on court cases that we review in our government class and then reviewing these as a class to see how well they're done. It's another way to use prompt engineering but in a collective style. Thank you again for watching. I hope you learned something and check out one of my other videos dealing with Adobe Express or with tools in the Google Workspace.